thank you so much for joining me for another video. This is Arlene's Things. Please don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment the link below. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining me and welcome you to my channel. So today what we're doing, this is um, a thing that uh, Eat With Kim favorite bites that she loves, which is the uh, sausage, rice, cucumbers, and onions, and also B loves life um, challenge that she's done with no utensils, so I'm going to do both in one. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'm going to start. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do what B loves said to do and eat with Kim. This is a perfect bite. I understand why they like it. This is a perfect bite. Mm. 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 This is really, really delicious. I think it should be one of my favorite bites now. I also have some barbecue sauce, so I'm going to have some with it. So yesterday I did the no utensil challenge, so I'm doing it again today. Because I've been wanting want to do this. Mm. I've been wanting to do this ever since I've seen B Loves doing it, so. It's delicious. Mm. We saw the small cucumbers. I'm in love with these. So today I had an adventure. Mm. Mm. It's been hot here in California, so I decided to clean my filters. Which I'm running and running it. Run the pool. But I haven't cleaned my filters even though I'm putting liquids and all that. So, take all the filters out, clean all the filters, dress them all out, put it back in. Then I'm putting all the earth on the skimmer. Now it's so hot, I'm deciding to, you know what, I'm going to throw myself in the pool because now I know it's clean. So, right before I do that, I always get a stick, I have a stick by my pool. I always get a stick and I always go around the skimmer just to make sure all the earth is going inside. So while I'm doing that, I see in the water and I see this little thing swimming. And guess what? It's a little baby frog. It must have been this small. I swear to God, I wish I would have taken some pictures because it was so cute. He had like yellow eyes. So what I did, when I saw him, I was going around the skimmer 
and I saw him swimming, and he was about to swim out from the skimmer to the pool. So I got scared because otherwise I'm going to have to chase him around the pool. So he was able to go back in. When he went back in, I was able to grab him, and I had it in my hand, and I showed it to my wife. I never had a little baby frog in my pool. So what I did, I got a little jar, and I put some water, but I put enough water that he can actually stand if he wants to. So anyways, after my wife got out of work and all that, um, we went and we took him to a creek. It's down this, you know, up the hill, maybe a couple miles, and I was saying my goodbyes because he was so cute. I took him in a little jar with water, and what I did, I cut a little paper plate, and I made some holes, and I took him up. And then he jumped right on the creek. So he is what he's supposed to be. So anyways, that was the uh, adventure today of the day. I never had a baby frog in my hand. I never had a baby frog in my pool. I have other things, but never a baby frog. So that was pretty interesting. That was our adventure of the day. My wife had a good idea to take him to the creek. The little creek, the people go there and spend the day by the mountains. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So I thought that was a good uh, adventure we had today. I never held the baby frog before in my life. So that was good to see. I went online, and I found out sometimes the mothers, what they'll do, they'll lay eggs. So, they say in order to prevent from frogs laying more eggs, to put a lot of chlorine in the water, so I've been doing that. I checked my whole pool, my whole skimmer. There was no other baby frogs. I'm hoping that was the only one. So I guess I must have had a lot of fun yesterday because I'm doing it again. I'm eating my rice with my hand. But I decided to do two challenges like that. Or you put him for a bite and do the uh, no utensil challenge. If you taste the sausage with the egg, the cucumber, it's so refreshing. I ran out of sausage here. I put a bunch of sausage. I thought. That is such a good, good, good bite. Mm. I'm glad I decided to clean my filters today because I will never sing the poor frog. I would have kept putting chemicals. If I would have made it, I read online, so I'm glad I found them when I did. You should have seen, I wish I would have taken a picture. If I find another frog, I'm going to take a picture this time. So today we've been having some ish technical difficulties with my phone, so if you see a lot of cuts, because my phone has been shutting off, so um, I'm not going to make it a long video because I don't know how long I'll be able to be on, but I am going to finish this before, so as soon as I finish, um, then I'll be turning on my phone. I'll be having some problems with my technical problems. I'm so sorry, guys. Mmm, oh, this is so, so good. I want to finish this. Mm. I do love onions. Mm. 
This is so good. So I'm hoping everybody's having a good day today. I love Thursdays. One more day for the week. So, so, I never had this combination before. Now I know what the big hype is about. Mm. These are little cucumbers, my favorite. And I do like the barbecue sauce for it. That is really, really good. Very bad for bacon. Last piece of my beautiful cucumber. That's it. Bite. That was delicious. Anyways, I love to spend time with you guys. I love to make these mock fan videos. I'm so happy to, <coughs> I'm into this industry or in this, this community. I really enjoy questions that have been, you know, people are bringing me. Um, so anyways, I, I like to spend time with you guys. So really thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful night. Again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you don't, please give it a thumbs down. And thank you so much for joining me today. And again, hope you have a great night. Until next time. Peace.